Hello once again and welcome back to me, myself and I playing the darkest dungeon. We have a couple of people to name. Uh, Abomination? Who shall I be rude about? Fizz. <laughs> and we also have a Man at Arms who can be... Whimsy. Yes. I think. Oh, so that's how it's going to be until I check whether it's S-E or E-S. You know when you're convinced about something and then not sure? It's one of those times. Right. Last episode, we sent out some people we didn't want to send out because we don't want to level them up further than the A-team we sent, uh, Ed and D. But unfortunately, we don't have any other real healing skills. Not even really about Like, there's this? <laughs> But you have to be in... So I suppose the back position is okay. We could try something with this. Oh, let's let's just try it, okay? Uh, Jekker is stuck in the thing, so which we can't. Uh, see, none of these people have any form of heal. Except for the Vestal. Yeah. Who is going to level beyond others if we keep taking them. You have a heal from the front two positions. We have 7,000. Let's try something. Yes, that's right. Let's put Psycho. It's going to cost us 900 to unlock this. Let's do that. And then turn this off and turn that on. Right. We need to get some stuff. Uh, the stagecoach, we really need to upgrade to, like, both of these quite considerably. Uh, I think the stress relief places and the abbey and uh, the sanitarium, sorry, are probably okay as they are. We don't seem to suffer too much stress so far. We haven't even locked, unlocked the sanitarium. Uh, the tavern, again, doesn't really need... There's only Jekri in there, where Jekri normally is. But the guild, we're going to want to upgrade quite quickly to keep up with our people and of course we're going to have even more people in future and the blacksmith, well again, we're going to be levelling up people faster than the blacksmith if we don't start levelling up the blacksmith so, okay, this is going to be uh, crests deeds and paintings so let us embark forthwith upon a mission. <coughs> Excuse moi still got a bit of a cough. We haven't unlocked the bloody warrens yet. So we might as well go to the Weald. It's a short level 1, 100% of rune battles, which means we're going to want some. Uh, definitely going to want healing on this one. <laughs> oh dear. Look, just because this could end more quickly, because there could be rune battles. Like the ends of the exploration could have no battles in it, so we could end the rune battles way before we've explored a lot of the dungeon. But in practice, it tends to turn out that you have to approximately do the same amount as you normally would for exploring 90% of rooms. This gives you busts rather than deeds. But I guess like at some point we're going to have to do the wield. We could take the A-team on the wield, but I really want to play with some different people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ruins again. I know it's getting a little bit samey. We'll put Psycho. Miri can go in either of the back two positions. Uh, Viz is completely new to me, so we will take him. And Holmesy, oh, also not too good in the rear position. Although, you can go in that position, and then you can go... Excuse me? You won't go with you. For fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've only got four level zeros. In that case, to hell with it. We can't take all our level zeros, so we'll take you and you. And you are in the wrong... Nope, you're in the right position. So we've got on our Man at Arms, which is a new character that I've never seen before. We've got a small crit debuff. That's okay. We might as well go to the wield now, right? Because we've got a healer. We've got a wield adventurer, which is good. Uh, you can crush, which is just a melee attack, apparently, with a good crit. 
Knockback and stun can be very useful. If we can hit... Note we can hit the third target. Often there's a thing at the back that's really pissing me off. This can really help us deal with that by swapping around. Retribution activates Riposte. Uh, which I guess switches out this one. That's going to be my assumption. Or it's a buff. One of the two. And then we've got Command, which looks like a buff, but it could be anybody rather than just me. I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the Houndmaster Miri. Houndmaster Miri? There we go. Guard ally is probably... So this is going to be a very much a support character. Uh, stress heal, not much use, but I'm not going to do anything about it right now. Uh, mark target, debuff target, and then an attack which does bleed. So it's a very debuffy thing and a very sort of general purpose thing. A tanky thing which I will actually put. No, I'll put it on anyway because if our healer gets, you know, not to. Ooh. Do you think that means that this can hit them? But not. Yes, it does because the battle heal can't hit the back target. So this outer ring is actually telling us what people you can affect. Yeah, you can affect everybody with something at least. Okay, let's go to the wield. We need these things. That's going to be good for you. And some money, which is also going to be extremely good. We have far too many fucking busts right now. It is a normal length mission, so we want to take... I'll just start with eight. And twelve. But I will take one of these, because then we can get more food on the way and use it to heal, for example. A couple of skeleton... Uh, maybe not too many skeleton keys. Anti-venom, I think, is useful in the wield, as is going to be a couple of bandages. And we get a free holy water, and we get some free dog biscuits. Greatly increases the hound's vigour for a short time, which is not something it actually tells you what it means. Uh, just a minute. Do we... Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for undoing everything I just did. Do we have any trinkets? Yes. How am I only? But this has a good bleed skill. Might as well just give you this, right? Sure. Sure. Now we have to do that all again, but okay. Twelve of these. Eight of these. One of these. Two of these. Two of these. Two of these. Good. Go. Plenty of inventory space for anything we pick up. So I seem to remember it was a bit of an issue last time because we kind of overdid it, maybe? Hello? Man, it takes ages to load considering how it's a 2D game. There we go. Corruption has soaked the okay, we can actually do this without backtracking. From these and it's only 100% of room battles and there's only a few rooms. There's a battle here. Evil. But there could be one here. So we want to visit that room without covering our tracks twice. So we go to this room. What do we do? Walk. Oh, hello. Right, we need to beat these things down ASAP. Did I bring a stun? Yes. And we get some torch plus six for that as well. If we can avoid... Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, if we can avoid these things duplicating themselves, that's going to be extremely valuable. Uh, I guess we just rush and try and do some bleed. I think these things neither bleed... Oh, they do bleed. Uh, I was going to say neither bleed nor... Uh, stun, but it's obviously not true. What is your stun chance? Stun resist 50%. And uh, So it's 50%. Just please be stunned. Good. We don't want them to get a go if we can swing it, because if they get a go, they make more of them. And I don't want there to be more of them. Yeah, very good. Nothing? We don't win anything? I believe I earned something. Sacks contents are mine, though. Uh, a grand is really going to be helpful. These, um... I think I'm going to try and keep hold of all my adventurers through, th through the game. Oh, well, we didn't need to do this, but we've done it. Maybe we'll get some more stuff. We'll crack a torch. In radiance, uh, may we find victory. Wait, I'm thinking. 80, 60, you. Mary, keep trap. Mary, Ain't told you about that. At least you resisted the blight. I'm, I'm happy with that. I think. For blood. If we put anti venom here, nice. Um, 
one strategy is to take things from the stagecoach and then dismiss them when they get useless and just keep doing low level runs. I'm not a fan of that, it seems a bit scummy. And I'm, I'm not usually. I don't usually have a problem with ET save scumming, so try and keep the light level up a bit. Um, but. Oh, you're surprised, that's nice. I don't have a problem with save scumming, for example, but. Ah, uh, oh, everybody, that's nice. That's okay. Um, that seems like a very. Continually on. Uh, cheap tactic. I don't want to cast shadow on anybody who is actually using that tactic because I know at least one YouTuber who is using that exact tactic, but it's not the sort of thing that I would want to do. You resisted the stun again. What is wrong with you? It's fine. Turns out, it's fine. So, eh. I think I'm going to try and keep everybody, try and name everybody if entirely possible. And we will perform this battle. So here's one of those situations where I'd like to maybe knock things back. If we can get rid of these two first, then they won't have room to respawn if that's what they're going to try and do. And I think now we possibly... What's your protection like? Uh, is it going to tell me? No, apparently not. Uh, I guess we... Just attack it. This is the bleed, that's no good. Crush this. This crush skill is actually pretty powerful against you know these early enemies. Anyway, we critted that, that should be good stress relief for at least a couple of people. Yeah. Maybe that got you in you, because you two are holy? Does that make sense? You have light attacks and you have light attacks, so you got happy because we did a good attack. Now we haven't needed a healer at all, we could definitely have brought somebody else on this. I mean, we could judgment one of these. But I'd, I'd prefer to stun something. For fuck's sake. Because anything that doesn't get a go, isn't going to stress us out like it's happening right now. And these are the things you really need to not allow to attack. Because now we're going to have all these people in stress recovery, right? Oh, you get another person going Yeah, just, just do everybody a little bit, you know? Everyone gets one, and we're losing light level as a result of this as well. Yeah, quite a lot. So now we've got more stress, and nothing really to make up for it. Uh, I guess we just rush again. I mean, we're doing a lot of damage compared to the HP of the enemies, but I don't expect that to last very long throughout the game, in general. Again, we need um, we don't need HP. Let's see if we can kill this. Let's get it into death range. What are we on now? Not telling me. Okay, there we are. Two. So you're going to take two rounds to kill, which is very annoying. I'd rather you didn't. Uh, we can hit you. I'm just going to hit you. Oh, that's okay. Let's just fuck it. It's spicy. It's a bit of a waste of the bleed, but again, the bleed was the only strong attack that the, the Handmaster could do at that stage. Our light is going down a lot. That's okay. They will fight harder in the dark, you're right. However, we get more loot and better crits. I could I could use a torch, I'm just not going to. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, keep going. End the combat, try and reduce the amount of damage we're taking. We've got some stuff. Uh trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. A victory nonetheless. Be honest, I don't think we really got as much more loot as I was anticipating. Yeah, let's eat some food. That heals us up. Again with the uh, maybe we didn't need a healer sort of majobby here. I like you. Nope. Thought it might have an effect, but antivenin? Nope. Holy water? I might as well use all this stuff. Eh. Burn it? Nope. Well, we tried everything. Look, we need to learn. I'm not going to go looking on the wiki. Right, torch. Still surprise them though. Oh, there's a plus chance the monsters being surprised when we have low light. That's interesting. I thought it was uh, more surprising when we showed up all bright and dazzling. Well, now that they're surprised, we should try dazzling light something, right? 
Will you please stun it? Thank you. <coughs> it's not the end. It's not a fucking. It's not rocket surgery, is what I'm trying to say. You resisted the bleed. That's okay. I'll let you off. Uh, we will stun this one and try and kill this one with this. It was successful. We did it. We didn't stun it though, so now we're going to get another one. Uh, what the fuck? Not a fan of this. Do you think it uses the corpse to do that? Uh, do we get rid of this one or those ones? I'm not sure. Do we get rid of those ones? Yeah, this. Try and keep this one down low so that. This bleed over time. Try and dot this one and. Like, DPS that one. Makes sense? So that when we get around to DPSing this one, it's already half weakened. Uh, soon we're going to have to start actually healing things. We'll try and dazzling like this, maybe? So it doesn't get a go? Yeah. And then... DPS that one. You don't miss! That's not an option. Damn it. Right. Smite. None of these can really reach anything I want to reach. What chance have we got of stun here? That's 100%, and this has got... Plus 40%. Oh, it adds it up. So it's got 115% according to the resistances at the bottom. So we're not going <laughs> to not going to get anything good out of that. So might as well just smite it. What the hell's the difference? Hmm. So put another bleed on it. Ideally, I'd kill everything sort of in the same turn. We resisted the bleed, so it's only a whomp around here. Melee the shit out of that thing. At some point, I'm going to want to... Like get rid of that corpse. It's in the way now. You can't dazzling light the thing at the back. Can we judgment it? Yes. Oh, that was really good, actually. I'm a fan of that. So now we wait away on this one and hope for the best. I guess. What's your stun chance? 75%. I think we just hit it off. Not ideal. Please. Lose some prop. Because I think I'm going to get a go before it does. Uh, we should heal you. Oh, you're not going to get a go. You're gonna, your stun's going to come off, then that thing's going to get a go, and then... Oh, okay. Whatever. Call me a liar, why don't you? Well, that went well. We managed to kill everything in the same turn, which is what I was aiming at. No fucking loot from that. And it wasn't even the last room battle. Game, you're killing me. No traps. No traps. Torch. No traps. No traps. Actual torch. Mine for the taking. Actual torch. As the light gains purchase, don't think these keys are very useful. That's a shame. Purpose is made yeah, we've had to actually explore more rooms than we would have had it been an explore dungeon, uh, quest. But that's okay. We may have brought more stuff than necessary. Especially with the food. If you don't take enough food, you tend to get like several surprises all at once. Uh, several hungers. You get three in a small place. And if you take a lot of food... Let's, uh, let's do that. If you take a lot of food, you never use the damn stuff. Crush. Good. I don't think these things leave corpses in any situation. No bitey. I guess there's no point guarding yourself, right? Smite. Can't lose. Sorted. Just kill it. What? You can't dodge light. You're not that fast. Uh, stress heal? Oh, not really useful, but that could be very useful in future if you can level it up enough. Judgment. Four. That's a low number, D. I'm not down with that. What happened to fucking Guardian? Use up all my anti venom as well. Die, you asshole. Could have done with Jekry right now. Jekry could probably heal that. Well, you'll just have to live with it. Lick it. Suck it out. Last battle. And we do get at least one locked thing, so a key is valuable, but maybe not two keys. Uh, we do have a stun. We should stun where possible and then DPS. I mean, that's kind of DPS at the same time. Look how much 
damage they did. A lot, is what I'm saying. It was a lot. Uh, I mean, I guess we could de-prot this one. Did it have much prot? Slime and ectoplasmic profusion. Well, that tells you what they can do. Where's my prot? Maybe it doesn't have any. Uh, we will dazzling light any of them, I guess. If we don't kill it, we stun it. No, we don't kill it or stun it. I mean, that's what I was going to say. Why are you there? Good question. Why are you there? Something if you forwards. Didn't realise that. That's okay. Pay a bit of attention, I guess. Is that going to kill that? This shit again. Alright, we know how to deal with this. We bleed that for a while. And we kill them too. At the back. Can I have a go, please? Right. Let's heal something. I think you're okay in the second position. Like, the fact that you two have switched around is fine. Yeah, forward one. Didn't realise. Didn't read it. Mark target activates repost. Why not? What does repost do? Marks me. What does it do? <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, let us... Stun it. Nope. Let us bleed it. Go dog. Big slime. Uh, it's not too bad, but we're worse off than I'd like to be right now. A second bleed is good. We've got repost active for another round. I mean, maybe we could stun this and knock it back. We might resist that. Yeah, we resisted both. I don't want that. Let's um, one to two ones. <laughs> good job. We just rolled four ones with. We flipped four tails. That's no good. Stunning blow. I mean, just have a 75% stun resist at base. I need to get rid of it so I can reach the other two. But if I do, the other two will just make another one. That's the worst part. Slime smack. So that's what Repost does. I don't know why we got stunned. That may have been its thing rather than my thing, so that's okay. Let's um, attack this. Oh, that's pretty good. And it killed it outright, which may not be that great. <sighs> not sure. I think these things can only create those things, because in the previous version that I played, um, basically, you could only... Like, they, they would just create two more of themselves. One. And it resisted the stuns. That's no good. Um, but it seems like in this one, those ones create the big one. So at least the fight is a little bit more guaranteed to end, basically. Is what I think it's a, maybe a rebalancing option. Let's get rid of this, then. Heal. Eight. Seventeen. Oh, you're closest to death, I think, is the important thing here. Look. You're going to have to start doing better than that. Uh... What can we hit? Can we hit that? Yes. Good. So now we just need to hit that once, basically. With anything before it kills. What was I saying? Zealous accusation. Do a lot of damage to both of them. Get rid of the big one and puts this one in death range. I really need to kill it. Four to seven. Oh. Right then. <laughs> we did really kill it. That was more awkward than it needed to be. So that one can create them, and them can create that. Let's continue adventuring and see at least what's in here. Push on to the task and hidden compartment. Well, wow. colour me surprised. I didn't expect that to happen. Is that it? Have we done everything? I think so. There's a curio here, but I'm not gonna not gonna bother with it. It's not even a curio. It's a obstacle. So I don't want to go around it. I didn't take any civils that time either. So what do we win? A chirurgeon's charm? That'll be good to D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can double click to open them all. That's pretty nice. So, good accuracy. Warrens and Eldritch. Well, those are all good things. And now we're all level 1. 
So we need to look at. I can still see their angry Good old Jack faces Green. as they stormed the manor. Everyone got. I was dead before they found me. Everyone got pretty, uh, pretty stressed out on way. that. And what are you talking about, man? This guy's just chatting in the back. So everyone leveled up there, which is nice. Which is nice. So this can treat quirks and diseases. So anyone who's got a, a negative thing, we can. Oh, that's bad. We can. Possibly think about putting it in there to get rid of HP. A, a problem, but I don't think it's that big a deal. Everyone's level one now except for you. Fizz, you're fucking abomination, that's why. No one will go with you, man. Our only healers, except this Plague Doctor type healer. Let's see what's in this stagecoach. We've got space for two more. We've got a Hellion and an Arbalist. Might as well take those two. Hellion and an Arbalist. Do we even have a Hellion yet? No. So that's two new types. I think we've basically got all of them right now. Uh, we'll put you at the top because you're level one. So we've got A team are kind of okay. I think we should send Pete out with a lower level team. Like these three. But it'd be very valuable if you were better at healing. <laughs> but this does cure blights and bleeds as well, so it only heals for one, but it cures blights and bleeds, which is really good. It's still not very useful as a healer. I was really hoping to have found the uh, the, the occultist in the stagecoach. Well, the roster's full. We can upgrade the roster. No, we can't. <laughs> okay. We could. S what are we going to do on the next run? We're going to have to get basically most of these people into here. Let's let's put our only healer in. We've got an upgrade that we can make. Increase the stress recovery and reduce the treatment cost. That's worthwhile. Icons and dogmatic rituals. Yes. For some, Confirm your treatment. Against the bloodshed. Tempted to not put anyone else in until they're a bit more stressed out. Um. Like. They're not quite halfway, or they're, they're not past halfway, which is not good enough in my opinion. You're just gonna have to. I'll send you out again. Is what I'm saying. You, uh, you wastrels. Do we send Pete with James and whoever these two are gonna be? Maybe. Well, we'll rename these two in the next episode when I have actually made a list of people who I'm going to name things as. Uh, but until then. We will, yeah, we'll figure out what to do next episode, and I will see you then.